Okay, welcome back students. So we're on question 6c of the 2021 paper. Okay, so let's read the question carefully together and we'll see what we know and what we need to find out. The diagram below shows the path of the airplane taking off from a runway at an angle of A degrees to the horizontal. Okay, and A is marked for us there. The plane leaves the runway as a point X, it does indeed. The remaining length of the runway when the plane leaves the ground is 16580 from here to here. Okay, so the runway obviously ends here, but the plane is airborne at that stage, so it's all okay. The height of the airplane when it is over the end of the runway is 350 meters. So we're giving the opposite side and we're giving the adjacent side. And these are the right angle legs, okay? From the, from the triangle in the diagram, write down the tan of A. Okay, now, sine, cos, and tan formulas are given to us in the trigonometry pages. Now, there's four trigonometry pages. And this is the last of them, it's page 16. Okay, now you can ignore that top triangle because it's the scalene triangle with no right angle. But at the bottom triangle, we see a right angle triangle. And we see here that the tan of A is the opposite. Now it doesn't ever say opposite, by the way, that's only in the textbooks. But in terms of A, it's the one opposite it, divided by the one that runs along adjacent to it to the right angle. So this looks awfully like our picture in the question. So we can go back and take the rise, which I think was 350, and take the run over there, which was 1650 or something. We'll put them together in our fraction. Okay. So writing down 350 over 1650. That's the correct expression for it. Now they may want us to simplify that. So we put that in our calculator and see what it says. Okay, and we get 0.21 reoccurring. Now use your answer to part one to find the size of the angle and give your answer correct to the nearest degree. So we know that the tan of A equals 0.2121, etc. So to get A, we're going to have to use the inverse tan on our calculators and put in 0.2121, etc. Okay. Or we could say 7 over 33, which is a much nicer way of putting it. Remember, I'm forcing my calculator to go straight to decimal. But I didn't have to do that. And in this case, 7 over 33 is a better answer. So I'm going to take the inverse tan of 7 over 33. And it's just a way of saying, if I know what the tan is, what's the angle? And this is how you do it. Okay, so you can try to remember that in the exam. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you forgot it. You'd only lose a very small amount. But it's nice to be able to do it. The inverse tan 7 over 33 and then you have to come out from under the denominator before you close your bracket and we get 11.97 and that's very nearly 12 degrees and they do say it correct to the nearest degree so we can write down 12 degrees okay just double check give your answer and, back. and give your answer correct to the nearest degree so we've answered the question we can move on as always, students, I will see you in the next one.